Hey guys, Mac here. So my main job when I come to work is I am on the ambulance and there's days that I drive and then there's days that I am patient care. And me and my partners, we switch off every week so we both can continue practicing our skills and getting better. Let's take a look at the driver's side. We have to keep our rig plugged in so that we can keep everything charged. So that if we're on scene for a couple hours, everything will continue to work. But we've got our driver's seat right here Normal like any other truck, we have a steering wheel, gas pedal, we have a special pedal down there on the side, that's our siren. And then we also have special horns that we blow um, when we're going down the streets to let everybody know, hey, we're coming down, please be careful. Um, other than that, it's like any other car or truck that you've been in, nothing too crazy or special. Uh, we have a few compartments on our rig. This is where we keep some extra oxygen and just other tools that we might need. We have some extra SCBAs for our firefighters in case they need any extra oxygen. But we on the ambulance, we don't go in and fight fires. We stand outside and make sure that everyone stays safe and if they need anything medical wise, we're on scene to help out. This one right here houses our stair chair and then also in this bag contains um, vacuum splints that we use to help with broken bones. The stair chair is pretty cool. It allows us to be able to bring patients down if there isn't an elevator or anything like that. Um, they sit in this chair, it has wheels and it has a track that basically we can slide them down the stairs while they are um, seat belted in so it's safe and also it helps keep our backs healthy. Our ambulance also opens up in the back and then once when it's turned on, this will lower so that we can easily remove the stretcher to be able to take it on scene to wherever we need to go. This compartment is the oxygen for the ambulance, which I'll talk a little bit more when we get inside. And then we just have some backboards and things like that in case we need them on any calls. And this is the passenger side. This is the person who's doing patient care for the day. There's a tablet where we take all of the information we need about the calls. Also, this person is in charge of navigating. So if I'm driving my partner, she has to help me make sure that I arrive to our destination safely. Okay, let's jump in. So unfortunately, the ambulance isn't as cool as some of the other rigs we have at the fire station, but this one is probably one of the most important. You're gonna probably ride in this if you're ever really sick or if you're ever really hurt. Um, there are some things in here that maybe are scary and we know that they're scary, but everything here is supposed to help you feel better or even um, keep you safe. Sometimes if you're having a hard time breathing, someone might put this on your face and these will go up your nose and it feels funny and it tickles, but this is just to help get you a little bit of extra air. If you're really having a hard time breathing, they might put a mask on you like this. And it, it feels a little funny because it goes all the way over your face like this. But that's gonna make sure that you get even more oxygen if you're really having a hard time breathing. The other thing that we might do when we're in the ambulance is we might hook you up to this monitor. This monitor will let us know how your blood pressure is, how your heart rate is, and it'll even let us take a, bit, a closer look at your heart if we need to. Um, and then along with this, it is also a defibrillator, which if someone goes into cardiac arrest, we can use it to um, uh, shock them, to, get a shock, uh, to have them come back to rhythm. And then the other thing that might happen is an IV. Some of you that have been in the burn unit have probably had lots of IVs and we know that they're not fun. But that's what all this is for. This is, help to, this is to help the paramedics do an IV. So we have different needle gauges. Some are bigger, some are smaller. We have different syringes. Um, and then just different tools to help make sure that you get the care and any medicine or anything that you might need. This is the awesome stretcher that if you're ever in the ambulance, you'll get a ride on. It has wheels. It goes wherever we go. It also has seat belts so that you stay safe while you're riding in the back of the ambulance and it stays in one place 
until we release it so that you are safe. We also have seats for mom and dad to sit if they ever need to come in the ambulance with you or for you to sit if you ever go in the ambulance with your mom or dad. But other than that, that's the ambulance.